focus on a few thoughts. Maybe I'll throw some things at you and you can think over these and see what you think about these. Uh You see the experiences we have, all of our experiences we have, we have all, all those experiences through either our sense organs or through our mind. And in fact, all of them are in our mind because our mind is behind those sense organs. So if our mind is not behind the sense organs, then even if the sense organ may experience something, it is not recorded within our mind. For example, I'm speaking to you right now, but if you are not paying attention, then it will not register. When we go on a morning walk or an evening walk, we meet so many or we see so many people. But when we come home, we remember none of them or not many of them. (laughs) Because even though our eyes saw them, Mm -hmm. our mind did not really register that experience. All right. Mm -hmm. So every experience that is imprinted on our mind is actually taken cognizance of by the mind. Only then it gets imprinted. Otherwise not. All right. So right now, our experience is all of these impressions we have collected in the past. That is all our life is right now. Now think about it a bit minutely. Whatever experience I might have had in the past, whatever experience I might have had five minutes ago, does that exist right now? Except in my memory. Uh All right. Now think about this thing. Now this is even more subtle. The experience I had five minutes ago and the dream I had last night. Think about this. Both of them exist right now in me as memories. Why do I consider what happened five minutes ago in my waking experience to be any more real than the dream I had last night at this moment? At this moment, both of them are memories, no more, no less. All right. So what does not exist right now, as we say, as we saw in the previous slide, I have no control over it. What has happened in the past is gone, right? I have control over only what I'm doing right now. What can I do right now? I can be right here, right now, 100%, whoever I am. So right now I happen to be a speaker. So I'm doing my job right now. You are supposed to be a listener. Are you? I don't know. It's up to you. (laughs) See, if I, if I speak these things, assuming that you are listening and assuming that it is going to change you, then I'm fooling myself. I cannot change you. You have to change yourself. Each one of us has to change ourselves. Nobody else can change us. Okay. So if I'm doing my job right, then what I've done, I have fulfilled my responsibility. When I fulfill my responsibility, I protect your right. If I'm fighting for my right, then Mm. I forget even about my own responsibility. Mm. If we have to live like proper human beings, we have to make sure that we are fulfilling our responsibility. So therefore we are protecting others' rights. That's how we need to live as human beings. Then whether we live, we live in a democracy or we live in a dictatorship or we live in an aristocracy or whatever, it doesn't really matter. We are all humans. See this aristocracy, communism, dictatorship, democracy. These are all different experiments we have done in governance. Okay. These are social experiments. Uh Whereas what really governs us is our own behavior, Uh our own thought process. I have control only over my behavior, only over my thought process. I don't Uh have any control over you. Uh All right. So I must have said this in one of my previous webinars, but my grandfather used to tell me, Vikram, you be good yourself so that you can be sure that there is at least one scoundrel less in the world. (laughs) So therefore, I don't really need to correct you. I cannot correct you. Okay. Now I'll tell you one other fundamental thing. One other fundamental thing is everything we see, everything we experience is actually happening within us. 
Uh-huh. Right uh-huh. now, you are thinking that you are seeing me on the screen. All right. Uh-huh. What is actually happening is the light from that screen is entering your retina, and an inverted image is happening on your retina of the picture you are seeing. All you are experiencing is an image. All you are experiencing is a shape and a color. All right. to that shape and color your mind is telling you this is vikram mm. so you are projecting what you are thinking of me on top of what your yeah. eyes are seeing right? also unless that image happens and it is read by the vision center in my brain i don't even know that there is a picture in front of me mm. that's right similarly my voice my voice is going from my mouth into my microphone through my system into the verizon network through the satellite into your device then wow. it is getting converted into sound again all of these were electromagnetic waves they got converted into sound <laughs> that sound hit your ear drums on the ear drums there is a vibration that vibration was converted into another electromagnetic wave that went into your sound center in your brain then you understood that i'm talking to you so although you are thinking that i'm talking to you from mechanicsburg that experience is happening within you mhm in the same manner every experience we think of of the world as outside of us is actually happening within us oh. so do you remember the book says that the kingdom of heaven is within you mhm therefore mm-hmm. when that experience happens within me i am the one who is making projections on top of it Uh-huh. now what is the projection if i like that experience then it's good if i don't like that experience then it's bad right this is all going on in my own mind do you understand if i don't make any judgments at all as nate was saying earlier don't have any judgments at all no judgment just be present be in the moment be a good listener once you are a good listener then the person who is talking to you will be calm down on their own Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what will happen. So mm-hmm. when we understand that this entire world, even though it is appearing outside, it is actually experienced by me as images within me. Okay. Now, if I'm not ready to absorb it, then the world doesn't exist. So, for example, when I go to sleep, the world disappears. It may exist, but it disappears for me. So, therefore, for the world to be experienced. the world also has to be there and the experience of its image has to happen within me as well so the image in my mind and the world outside are interdependent they are mirror images of each other okay they both disappear when we go to sleep so therefore neither the world is absolutely real nor the image in my mind is absolutely real but i am real unless i am there neither the world is there nor the image is there we need to focus on that i and that i is divine that i is made in the image of god okay if we forget that then we will do all kinds of things but if we always remember that this fundamental i is made in the image of god then we will live in this world the way we need to live mm. that's when we will live as brothers and sisters i hope This makes sense. It does. Yeah. Thank you, Bigram. I don't know if you heard it, but while you were talking, church music started playing. <laughs> Bells wow. are going off. Is that right? Oh my God. Okay. So those who did not hear this, those who did not hear this, a recording will be available for all of you. Okay. That's the good news. We heard it. It was no, just, we it heard was just a, it was it was another one of the moments we just talked about. Yes. You happen yes. to be talking and and with this music playing in the background literally confirming what yeah. you were saying. Like God Now let's now la- now okay I I've given the spiritual talk. Let me come back to earth. Okay, let's just assume that this world is real. Let's assume that everything we are seeing is real outside of us is real, all right? Now think of what is this entire world made of? now let's go back to the 8th grade chemistry lesson everything in this world we see is made up of atoms and molecules all right and even further down electrons protons neutrons mm-hmm. even further down subatomic particles whatever let's say let's just say atoms and molecules to that extent it's easy for us to understand all right those atoms and molecules 
when they exist in the soil we call it the earth dirt those same molecules through the process of photosynthesis when they get converted into banana or mango or whatever else we call the same material as food only transformed it looks different therefore we call it food same molecules those same molecules when you and i eat it becomes vikram or lavarna or nancy or tamika and nate and whoever else right what is becoming is only the body right so the molecules in our body are nothing other than the earth okay so we rise from the dust and we go into the dust mm-hmm. this is a piece of earth all right but this piece of earth is talking to that piece of earth because there is something within me that is making me speak that what is making me speak is the universal spirit the spirit in you the holy spirit in you and the holy spirit in me is not different at all that holy spirit is our heavenly father all right and the body made out of the earth is our mother so that's why we call her mother earth therefore if everybody's mother is the earth and everybody's father is the heavenly father then we become brothers and sisters mm-hmm. that is how we are brothers and sisters if we live in this understanding in this awareness at all times then will we ever think of anything bad about each other even in our dreams never that's what being human means if we become human in this manner Mm-hmm. then we will realize that we are indeed children of the same god god is one father for everybody whether they believe in it or not whether they know it or not whether they like it or not mm-hmm. that is the truth once we start living with this awareness that's when we become truly human in the spirit of god mm-hmm. so i appreciate mm-hmm. your listening to me so patiently and thank you for giving the opportunity to speak Well, I will just say this for you Bigram Namaste. 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 That's exactly what I thought. Yeah. Okay, people, thank you so much. That's it. I think Bigram took us home. <laughs> thank you. Good enough, so. <laughs> have a have a wonderful weekend everybody. Thank you very Everyone. much. Everyone, you too. Bye-bye. Thank you.